How much do you know about Zambia, the land of the famous Victoria Falls and the vast Zambezi River? Nestled in the heart of Africa, this vibrant country is brimming with diverse tribes, each with its own unique language. English echoes through the cities, a remnant of its former British colonial status. But there's more to Zambia than meets the eye. Prepare to be surprised by some fascinating facts about this beautiful country. Did you know that Zambia boasts a rich cultural diversity? This Southern African nation is a melting pot of cultures, home to an astounding 73 tribes. Each of these tribes has its own unique language, contributing to the country's linguistic richness. But the linguistic diversity doesn't end there. English, a vestige of the nation's former British colonial status, is widely spoken across Zambia. This common language serves as a unifying thread, weaving together the country's numerous tribal cultures. Zambia's cultural landscape is further enriched by its traditional leadership system. This system is composed of chiefs, who serve as custodians of their respective tribal cultures. Each chief is tasked with preserving and promoting their tribe's unique traditions and customs. But the leadership structure doesn't stop at chiefs. In Baratsaland, a region in western Zambia, there's even a king, known as the Latunga. This king reigns over the Lozi people, adding another layer of cultural complexity to this fascinating country. Indeed, Zambia is a splendid tapestry of cultural richness and diversity. Let's now dive into the heart of Zambian cuisine, where we find nshima, a beloved staple dish. It's a smooth, polenta-like side dish made from maize flour that Zambians enjoy daily. But it's not just the dish that's special, it's the way it's eaten. In Zambia, it's common to eat with your hands. They believe it brings them closer to the food, creating a more personal and intimate dining experience. Now let's travel to Baratsaland, a region known for its distinctive lifestyle. Here people live on small islands scattered across the Baratsi floodplain. But what's truly fascinating is their adaptability. Every year, when the floodwaters rise, they pack up their homes and move to higher ground, only to return when the waters recede. In 2012, Baratsaland even declared independence from Zambia to try and become its own nation state. Zambia is not just culturally rich, but also a haven of natural wonders. Let's begin with Victoria Falls, also known as Mosi Watunya, which translates to smoke that thunders in the local Lozi language. This majestic waterfall is a sight to behold, creating an impressive spectacle as it cascades over the edge and plunges into the churning waters below. Now imagine a freshwater lake stretching as far as the eye can see. That's Lake Tanganyika for you. Not just any lake, but Africa's second largest lake, nestled right here in Zambia. Its vastness and depth are a testament to the remarkable geographical diversity of this land. Zambia is home to around 100,000 refugees who fled violence in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Angola, or Rwanda. In Zambia, they live either in cities or mainly in refugee settlements such as Mayukwayukwa. The latter was founded in 1966, making it one of the oldest refugee settlements in Africa. It is located in the western province and is home to 14,000 people. It is essentially a small town where the refugees have their own shops, restaurants, tailoring workshops, and an ICT center 